Aloha and good afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on This Is Now. The big story of the day, Kilauea is erupting once again after a months-long pause in activity. This is a time-lapse video from earlier this morning when the lava first broke through to the surface. Absolutely stunning. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the lava is contained to the crater and does not pose a threat to the public. Now for the latest on this event and what we can expect, we are joined live now by HBO's David Phillips. He's the deputy scientist in charge. Now, David, what can you tell us about this eruption and the activity you saw leading up to it? And so, as you said in the uh, the opening there, so Kilauea volcano is erupting again, and you can see it behind me. Um, the main hazard right now is the uh, VOG, uh, which you can see is that blue uh, blue cloud coming out behind me. And it's hard to see without a zoom lens, but there you can see red in the lava lake behind me as well. Um, in terms of how this relates to uh, recent eruptions at Kilauea, so far it's a very similar to the eruption that we saw that started back in January 5th of this year that lasted until mid-March, and very similar to the eruption before that uh, that started in, in September of 2021 and lasted through last year. Um, in all of those cases, the all the activity has been confined up here to within Hale Ma'uma'u, and also in all of those cases, the, the eruption itself was preceded by intense seismic activity and ground deformation. And by monitoring those signals this morning, starting uh, about 3, 3.30 this morning, we were able to raise the alert levels, uh, let officials here know that um, there was a high likelihood of the eruption starting, and it started at 4.44 a.m., this morning after a long night of earthquakes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, as you mentioned, you guys have been tracking some of these uh, warning signs for quite some time now. Uh, obviously, predicting eruptions is nearly impossible, but how certain or were you guys prepared for something like this to happen today? Yeah, that's a very good question. And, and every eruption is, is different. Um, that being said, uh, there is a, a pattern that we see of these eruptions here at Kilauea Summit. Um, so it's basically been uh, in reinflating with magma coming back into the system since the last one stopped in mid-March. It's been kind of slowly inflating again, building back up. Seismic activity has been increasing. About two and a half weeks ago, there was a marked increase in the number of earthquakes that were being felt and, and detected. Um, and at that time, we, we put out a report saying that there was heightened unrest was the words that we were using. Uh, which meant that there were more earthquakes, more deformation, but it wasn't quite sustained and focused enough to uh, to lead to an eruption at that time. But we've been monitoring it, and over the last couple of days, things increased. And then the hours over last night is when uh, it really picked up. And our monitoring network, uh, which we've been able to improve since 2018 with recovery funds, uh, was able to uh, detect those signals uh, so that we could uh, give this forecast. And David, we can't really see in the crater behind you, but what can you tell us is happening in the crater behind you at this time? Yeah, so um, actually, if you go to the USGS website for HVO, we have a live stream as well, which is a high resolution, and it'll send you to a YouTube link from a USGS HVO website, and that's the best way to do it. And if you go there, it's hard to see from this angle, but you'll see a number of fissures um, and orange lava being com uh, coming up uh, and erupting from those fissures. And in the surface itself, if it were dark right now, the area behind me would be all lit up in red. But here in the middle of the day, we can see red on the edges, but it looks, just looks kind of silvery. So what we're seeing is a series of fissures, lava coming out there in small fountains right now, and then a very active lake of lava. Uh, this morning when the eruption started, as you probably saw from the pictures, we had fountains of several hundred feet tall. Um, and then since that time, things have been uh, become more stable. All right. Well. David, thank you so much for your time and joining us here on This Is Now. We are definitely going to be keeping an eye on all of the activity there over on Hawaii Island. Thanks for all your work today. Yeah, and of course, Absolutely. visitors are already heading out to the crater to catch a glimpse of the spectacular site. We spoke with a family visiting from Austin, Texas, who described the moments leading up to the eruption. We were at the volcano house sleeping, and at 2.41, 2.42, uh, we got shook and awake, um, jumped up out of bed, didn't see anything, happened again at 4.48, jumped up, didn't see anything, and then we heard some guy running down the hallway that uh, it's erupting, and so we <laughs> threw on his clothes as quick as we could and went out, and, and uh, there she was. Sure Pele was, 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 was happy again. <laughs> yes. The, the shakes were scary. I've never experienced big, an yeah, earthquake, just... and the, the one at 2 o'clock was, was quite big. Um, we, we all, like, 
I don't really woke up, um, but uh, didn't expect that. Did not expect to see this. This yeah. is a once in a lifetime. Yeah, super exciting there. And uh, as we mentioned, the visitors are already heading there. Let's give you a live look right now. This is Kilauea, Halema'uma'u Crater. So many people are just so excited to see this in person. Yeah, including our Casey Lund, who loves this coverage. He is heading to Hawaii Island as we speak, and he filed this quick report from the airport before he left. Hey, aloha, guys. Uh, coming to you from Honolulu's airport. Forgive me if I'm a little frantic recording this because I literally just found parking. I had to park in the international terminal, uh, make my way over here. That's how busy the airport is. So we're lucky to get on a flight. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be heading to Hilo, eventually up to Kilauea. Uh, my flight departs here at about 10 minutes. So I'll make this quick. I just want to talk briefly about, um, you know, how excited I am to get over there and show people what's happening and to see it myself. But I, you know, temper that excitement with uh, always the reminder that especially for folks that completely lost everything during the 2018 eruption um, you know there's always a little sense of anxiety whenever a new event happens our last one of course was in June or excuse me January of this year uh, and then it was paused for a while and uh, here we go again but it was so amazing to see this morning that first event down in the crater and you saw how huge that first fountain was and then how quickly uh, Halima'uma'u crater filled up uh, as we watched it live happen on sunrise. So as we get over there, we're gonna be talking to the National Park Service. I know we've heard from them. You've heard from USGS who reminds people that so far right now, uh, things are contained to the crater. They don't seem to be going down into the lower east rift zone. And that is the big concern, again, for all those people that uh, really were devastated back in 2018. But this uh, seems to be, at least for now, uh, like one of those eruption events that is going to be just fun to watch. So we'll go up to the park. We'll we'll talk to people about their experiences. One of my favorite things to share is the kids that are from the mainland or international visitors that have never seen anything like this before, maybe never saw, thought they would. They came to Hawaii to possibly witness this, to go to Hawaii Island and the park. Uh, most people don't get to see it. It doesn't happen when they're there. Uh, but could you imagine being here on vacation and having an eruption event like this one that's so spectacular? So we'll be talking to those people and reminding folks uh, everything they should know uh, if they do want to visit the park and, and check it out. So we'll see you a little later. <laughs> I'm going to get over there, get set up. Hopefully we'll see you at Ashley's show at first at four and then, of course, through the rest of the evening and on sunrise. Guys, thanks for checking in. I better go catch my flight. We'll talk to you later. Glad he made it. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, and he is no stranger to this coverage. As as you heard, he uh, does this quite a bit. Every time this happens, we send him down over to Hawaii Island. We're going to be keeping a close eye on all the activity over there on Hawaii Island and provide more reports coming up on later editions of Hawaii News. Now, once again, a live look at Kilauea and Halema'uma'u Crater. Uh, kind of a little bit subsided, not what it was this morning. But uh, again, we're keeping an eye on all of it.